Hey YouTube, this is going to be a little tutorial and um, review video of the Harbor Freight 99cc Predator engine. It's uh, about two and a half horsepower. It's a 99cc overhead valve uh, four stroke, air cooled by a fan. Um, it's pull start as well. And it's got the, the fuel tank just built right in. Um, cost me about 70 something dollars. I got it when they're on sale. And it uh, seems like a real good little engine. Um, it came when I came in the box; it didn't have any oil to it, and uh, just you know filled it up with tin white 40, whatever. That wasn't an issue, and uh, put fuel to it, and uh, it started right up after about two or two or three pulls, I think. Um, it's very simple to operate. You got your ignition switch here, off, on. Oil fill and dipstick, sort of just unscrews there. There's a little diagram there, you just unscrew it, and as long as it's oil level showing on the dipstick, you've got enough. Um, choke here, so for for a cold starting it, actually most of the time when you're starting it, you're gonna need the choke on. So you're gonna have that choke shut, choke open, that's the way you're gonna have it in when you're running it. And here is the throttle that's closed. That's full throttle. Got a linkage to the carburetor. You can slacken off this nut here, and it'll be actually a spring-loaded thing. But that's if you're gonna put on like a thinny bike or whatever. Just hook her up there. But I just I don't have it um, loose enough, so it actually springs. So you can just set it to whatever position you want. That there is the idle. Actually, that's, that's not the idle. That's the uh, throttle stop that's like the full throttle position and the idle I believe is on the carburetor it's that that guy right there that's the idle you screwed in for faster screwed out for slower um, yeah it started with the pull starter the way you started I use that to give it just a little bit of throttle and when it's cold and most of the time actually just give it choke make sure the ignition switch is on and you just give her a nice firm pull Never ever run it on concrete or asphalt or tarmac or anything like that because what will happen is the vibrations will cause it to crack the case. You never want to run it on any hard surface, you know. Turf is good or if you have it mounted on wood or whatever, that, that'll that be fine. Or if it's mounted on, you know, a bike or whatever, that'll be straight too. But don't actually have it directly on on something hard work and actually, you know, be it's like loose just like that. Never run it like that. Um, Maintenance, just uh, changing the oil once it looks dirty. They recommend every uh, 20 or 30 hours, I believe, but you know, just when it looks dirty, you just drain the oil out there, fill it up there. Uh, spark plug needs replaced every, I don't know how long, probably a lot of hours. Access down there, I think you have to take the exhaust off for that. She's down there. Um, cleaning the air filter, oiling it accessed by those those screws there very straightforward a um, couple of uh, gripes I have about this engine only very small ones there's no fuel shut off so I mean the carburetor bowl float assembly works very well so it never leaks or anything like that but there's no way to shut the fuel off so I don't know it's it's, it's not too good if you want to like I don't know do some work on the carburetor or whatever, you're gonna have to drain the whole tank out, or else it'll just, you know, all leak out. But tank is decent size. I guess it's probably what half gallon, you reckon? Probably, probably half gallon. I'm running some. Let me tell you, I'm running some pissy fuel in this thing, and it doesn't give me any problems. It's real old that fuel. Oh, ice cream truck, dude. Oh, I'm not sure if YouTube can hear it, but there's an ice cream truck coming. So yeah. uh... Let's start her up real quick. Oh, fuck, make me get up. Take her over to the turf. Ignition on, set the throttle, just give it a hair throttle and choke. See, it's real quiet. It's actually not that quiet, but it is pretty quiet. Um, it'll idle pretty good too. And if you want to real open it up, Shut 
slider down like that by the switch. And also, if you're going to store the engine for any um, extended period of time, it's always a good idea to make sure it's set on TDC, which is top dead center. The way you tell that is you can pull the pull starter a little bit, just get pull her a few times, just so you can slowly, so you can feel the engine and feel the, the tight spots and the loose spots. And you're going to want it so it's on the spot right where it comes up on being hard to pull. That means the piston is up at the top and both valves are shut. That's very important. Not so much in this case, but if you're gonna store an engine outside um, and you don't have it on TDC, you run the risk of having an inlet valve open, and if you do, and some rain happens to get in here, it's gonna go into your engine and rust it up and maybe seize it. That happened to me. I had a, the bigger Harbor Freight engine, the 212, and I left it outside where they didn't have an air cleaner on, and it, which was stupid of me, and just rainwater got in and it seized it up. So you always want to make sure TDC, so it stops any anything from getting in. And also, if something crawls into your exhaust, maybe that uh, you don't want to run the risk of that. Yeah. So all in all, it's a great unit. Very cheap and seems just as good as the the Japanese, you know, Honda equivalent or whatever. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend it to a friend or anyone interested in buying an engine. I and mean, people, you know, talk a lot of shit about these little China engines, but they're really not all that bad. They actually are really nice nice units so um yeah the predator 99cc 2.5 force engine real good